Hello everyone, in uh, today's game we're going to be playing General Quarters 3 in uh, reenacting a battle, well actually not really reenacting, it never happened, between the Bismarck, which is a very, very famous battleship by the Kriegsmarine, and the HMS Nelson, a rather unique take. So uh, the distances here seem a little on the extreme side, but as far as naval things go, it's actually not that unusual to have ships operating at these kind of ranges initially. Um, in a lot of games, what you could actually do is go ahead and uh, go ahead and check to see that you know, you've know you gotten detection and all that, but we're going to skip some of that and assume that they've been tipped off. So this is an interesting fight, and I'll show you why. The Abysmark has its batteries spread out. So you've got a couple here, a couple here. In uh, the Nelson, you actually have all three mega batteries kind of pointing forward. You also have this big 16-inch gun. Granted, it's not the most accurate 16-inch gun, but it, it is handy that you can put six shells for or six rolls forward per game versus the four in the Bismarck. So we're going to have to see if that makes that much of a difference in today's battle. We have a lot of little things going on. And like I said, this is going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. Victory point-wise, the HMS Nelson's worth 17. The Bismarck is worth 22. So uh, we'll see how that plays. So anyway, let's begin with turn one. I've ordered both of these guys to go ahead and spin up 20 knots. Uh, the Nelson, of course, is significantly slower than the Bismarck. But um, we're not going to go racing too, too far. Because at this point, it's going to be pretty hard to hit anything at these kind of ranges. So he's going to go ahead and move his 20 knots. Then we're going to go scoot over here to the Nelson, pretty long distance away at this point. And we're going to go ahead and move him 20 knots forward as well. So now we move on to the gunnery phase. So the Bismarck, of course, is going to waste no time, or there's no ammunition in this game, so we're going to go ahead and rip along. And it's going to attack the Nelson using its main battery. So we're going to go ahead and measure distance, it's going to be a little extreme at this point. And we get 107.8. Which gives us a distance of 27,000 yards, which is uh, pretty substantial. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're using 15-inch guns. That rounds up to 30,000, but we can't actually penetrate, so we get half dice. So we get a single dice, and um, it's going to be a one to hit. So uh, this is definitely going to be interesting. You never know. All right, 30. So the first shell goes whoop. Splush. It probably lands somewhere in the neighborhood of the Nelson, but probably not too close. Speaking of the Nelson, uh, we're also at the 30,000 yard range here using our, what do we have, 15 or 16s? We have 16 inch guns here. We also get half. So um, let's take a look here. We have six guns facing four divided by two would be three, but we only get half of those. So um, when we roll, we got to see yes. So we are going to be able to use um, half of our 30, which in this case would actually equate out to two. So we're going to grab our two dice. Checking the roll, we need a one. So uh, probably not going to get an early hit here, but you never know. So we got an eight and a nine. So um, also the Nelson's shots fall harmlessly. We could try to check out the secondary weapons, but I'm taking a look here. Uh, the secondary guns on the Nelson are six inches, which have a range of about 24,000. We're not there yet. On the Bismarck, their guns are secondary weapons. Let's take a look. 5.9 inches. That gets us out to also 24,000. So it's going to be a little ways before we can start using the secondaries. All right. Everything else is all set. Let's move into turn two. So the Bismarck is realizing that the Nelson's got a little bit more of a chance to hit at this range. So as a result, it's going to go ahead and accelerate up to 25 knots. Uh, the Nelson, realizing that it's actually in a really, really good spot right now, is actually going to go ahead and turn. It's going to come forward five. It's going to take a three-point turn to the port side, which would be six. It's 11 out of 22. So that would... Uh, 11 out of 22, would that be another 11? And then it's going to come forward at 11. Let's watch what happens. So the Bismarck, of course, is going to come directly forward. It's going to come directly forward a total of 25, which is as fast as we can accelerate at this time. Go ahead and stick this alongside here. That was a pretty serious increase in range here. Remember, these are six minute turns in case you're curious. I'm going to need the special movement tool for this particular maneuver. Grab this one. He's got a plan. We'll see what the Bismarck's thinking. The Bismarck's trying to get in a more lethal range at this point. All right, so we come forward five. We're taking one point, two point, three point of a turn. And then we're going to come forward a total of 11. So I'll go ahead and park this here. Put this at 11. And we are good for all movement in this phase. So now it's on to the gunnery phase again. So at this point, 
We're getting a little bit of a crossing of the T by the Nelson, but the ranges are still pretty extreme. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So the Bismarck's going to attack the Nelson with its two main batteries. The range here is, uh, let's say, it's 89.1 times 254. That's 23,000 yards, which would be the 24,000 yard category. So let's go ahead and take a look what we roll. All right, so 24,000 yards, we get a one plus, and we have the ability to penetrate battleship armor. So let's see how many guns we have. We have each pair of guns, we get one dice for. So we're actually gonna go ahead and get two dice this time. And we're hitting on a one or we're hitting on a 10. So we have a five and an 11. That is a miss and a miss. So the Bismarck almost hit the uh, Nelson at this time, but then uh, the Nelson's feeling pretty confident. So the Nelson's now going to return fire with three, six, nine guns. But unfortunately, we can only do half of those. So it'll be a hit. If we get an odd number, we get to use five. If not, no, we only get to use four. So that's a shame. So uh, we're going to use four guns there. Four guns taking a look. I'm sorry, wait a minute. This guy is, uh, he has triple batteries. Uh, three, six, nine divided by two, round up. So he gets five dice, right? Because it's triple batteries, not double batteries, or um, five batteries. Yes. So um, he's going to get uh, five. So at this range, 24,000, he has the shot chance of a one on each of the five dice that he's going to get to roll. So there's actually a fairly decent chance that we're going to get a hit here. But we'll go ahead and see what happens. No. So again, the Nelson shot, even though it had a much heavier broadside, failed to actually hit the Bismarck. So now we move on to the third turn. So the Bismarck, I think, is going to start catching on to what the hood is up to. So I think in this case, what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and spin up 30, but he's going to take a very gentle one-point turn, which you don't actually have to register on your turn log here. The HMS Nelson on the flip side is feeling pretty good, so it's going to keep its speed up at 20. So let's go ahead and uh, roll this out and see what happens. If you're doing a very, very minor turn, you don't have to actually um, mark that out or work that out. So we said he was doing 25 knots. We're going to come him out like that. Scooting over to the Nelson. The Nelson's going to be maintaining his 20 knots. It's going to take him out to here. Okay, gunnery phase. So at this point, the range between our two combatants, let's take a look, is down to 77.8. That's a little under 20,000 yards, which is a lot. Uh, the Bismarck is still only able to attack with two dice because only the front are in range here. So we'll start with that. So um, it's going to be a 1 plus. So it's going to happen on a 1 or a 10, and we're going to get two dice this time. Germany. We get a hit. So the equivalent hit on a battleship. Uh, is it considered a battle cruiser or a battle ship? Let's take a look. BA stands for... Okay, good. So it's only going to count as a single hit, and it is a penetrating hit on the Nelson. So the Nelson has gotten hit. The Bismarck gets first blood. Speaking of the Nelson, so 3, 6, 9 divided by 2, we're going to round up. That's going to be 5. So this one gets 5 dice again. At 16 inches, at 21,000 yards, it's a 1 or a 10. So we need a 1 or a 10 to get some revenge here. Let's find out what happens. So we definitely got one hit. Okay, so we responded in kind. So the armor on the Bismarck, let's check that out real quick. It's a BA, yeah. So we're just gonna just penetrate that particular piece of armor. All right, so that is the end of it. Now it's time to check out damage. Starting with the Nelson, we take a single 10-sided dice and roll it, let's see what happens. We get a one. So on we get a float plane is hit and we also get a fire. So unfortunately, um, as things started out with this fight, the Nelson is already ablaze. Let's go ahead and see what happens to the Bismarck. 12. That is a critical hit. So now we need to roll again to see what the critical hit actually affects. 10. Let's see here. Critical hit 10 is an engineering hit. So that means that the Bismarck, until it can get that fixed, is limited to a speed of only 20. Which isn't great, but it's, it's also not bad. He's been cruising along pretty well here. All right, damage control phase. We're now moving on to the next turn. So the Nelson's going to attempt to put out that fire. His damage control is a 6 or less. 
10. So the fire burns, which means that the Nelson is going to take his first little piece of damage here. Meanwhile, the Bismarck is going to attempt to fix the engineering hit. Uh, engineering here on this particular case is going to be a 1 to a 4. 5. No good. So that engineering hit remains. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and plot our turn. So the Bismarck can only move 20, but it only loses 5 knots of speed. So I think it's going to go ahead in um, turn 4, 25. It's going to take a gentle left turn also, but it's less than a point, so we don't have to get penalized for it. So um, the word turn does not apply. So this guy's he's feeling pretty good. Let's see what we got going here. Yeah, I think we're going to just go ahead and uh, keep him going. We'll go turn 4, 20. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and grab out our ruler. Uh, we're going to make him do a gentle left turn also. Move him up to the 20 spot. We're going to scoot over to Mr. Bismarck. Bismarck is also going to do a little teeny tiny turn less than a point. He's going to move up to his 25 point. Okay, now things are going to start really heating up because the Bismarck can now bring his rear batteries into play. So we'll see what happens. First things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the distances here. 67.3. That gives us a range of 17,000 yards. 17,000 yards rounds up to 18,000. So the Bismarck's 15-inch guns, uh, we're going to leave secondaries out until we get a little bit closer. We're just wasting time with secondaries at this distance. Um, let's see, it's a 1 plus 2. So that's a 1, a 2, or a 10 is a successful hit. So we're going to get um, 4 dice for this, believe it or not. 1 hit, 3 hits, 4 hit. Wow, that was a really good hit. So that is a total of 4 hits on our four friends, the uh, Nelson here. The Nelson is taking a bit of a beating, but we'll see what happens when the Nelson returns fire. So the Nelson has, let's take a look here, at 18,000, it's a one plus two. So that would mean that the Nelson's uh, five dice gets a one, a two, or a 10 is a successful hit. So um, you better hope the Nelson does something good here, otherwise we're in a lot of trouble. Nothing. So the Nelson fails to engage. So in that particular case, I'm going to bring in my secondary weapons, even though I didn't I said I wouldn't do it, because the 6-inch guns at 18,000 actually can hit. So how many 6-inch guns do I have on that side? One, two, three. So we get three dice for those. Let's see, the roll for the 6 inches, it has to be shifted up, is going to be a 1. So a 1 or better to actually do any damage here. Nope. And we could also try to attack it. What did, do we have something any smaller than this? We have uh, 4.7s, but the 4.7s, no, they would not be able to hit. They can't even fire. So now we need to go ahead and see what happens to the poor Nelson. So the Nelson took four hits, so we need four dice. And we're going to go ahead and roll and see what happened to the Nelson. We got a 1, a 1, a 10, and an 11. So a 1 for us is a, another fire. Oh, yep, it's another fire. So now we have two fires raging. The other uh, one is another fire. So now we have three fires raging. So then we got a 10. A 10 for us is a secondary hit. So we lose one secondary weapon. I'll take one off that I don't really care about. And 11 counts as a main turret hit. We're going to do some damage to the one in the back. Oi, that leaves us with three dice to attack with. That was a pretty, pretty rough time, Nelson, but don't give up. Don't give up. All right, damage control phase. So the Bismarck still has some outstanding damage here. It still has an engineering hit. It needs a four better to fix it. And it gets a four, which means the Bismarck, as far as we're concerned, is actually working great. Meanwhile, the Nelson's got a total of four fires raging now. Oh, I'm sorry, it looks like three fires raging. So it can only attempt to fix one of them. So to put out the fire on the Nelson, we are going to need a roll of, let's see here, one to six. That's a 10, which means three fires times 1.5, half, one, two, okay. So that means our fires are causing an enormous amount of damage and actually starting to build up and hurt us quite a bit. All right, next round. So um, the Nelson's going to take a gentle turn. Um, he's reduced to a top speed of 18, so he's got no choice but to do 18 now. We're going, we're going to take that gentle, like, half a point turn. The Bismarck, on the flip side, he's feeling pretty good. He's going to go ahead and slow down a little bit so that he can um, concentrate his fire a little better. All right, begin. 
So again, we're doing that less than a point turn, which means we can go ahead and do this. We only get to move 18. That's pretty good. Bismarck on the flip side, he's going to be keeping his speed up. He's going to be doing 20 this turn. Now uh, he'll do a little gentle turn also. Looking pretty good. Okay, gunnery. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and measure range. In this case, it's 59.4. That's a range of 15,100 yards. So taking a look at our chart, that's really close to 15,000, but technically it'll round up to 18,000. So the Bismarck's going to open the uh, thing here. We have one, two, three, four dice we're attacking with. It's going to be the same as last time. It's going to be one plus two. So one, two, three, four dice. We're hitting on a one, a two, or a ten. Two hits, two hits. So unfortunately, the Nelson takes two more hits. The Bismarck's gunnery is just spot on today. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Nelson. We have the two six inches up front, or these two 15, 16 inches, I'm sorry, that we have up front still. So we get one dice per pair. So that means we get a total of three dice. So um, for us, at 16 and 18, it's a one plus two also. So it's a one, a two, or a 10. Two hits. So that was good news. The Nelson, of course, is um, evil, and they're going to go ahead and use their six-inch guns too, just because I can. That's going to be a hit on a one. That's unlikely, but we'll try. You never know. Every little hit counts at this point in the game. Nope, no good. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and see what the damage looks like here. Don't remember that being a six. I remember that being a one. See, now I can't remember. No, it was a two. There we go. Or was it a one? Six, one, whatever. Okay, I totally forgot. We'll leave it at six and see what happens. Okay, so we'll start off with um, the uh, Bismarck this time, which has received two hits from 16 inch shells. So we'll go ahead and grab two die. Go ahead and roll it, see what happens. So that is a four and that is a five. A four on the ship is a main turret hit. So he gets to pick what main turret gets it. A 5 is also a main turret hit, so he's going to take off both of his rear turrets. I don't know if that's going to help us, but we'll hope. The Nelson has to roll <laughs> 6 of these, so I think the Nelson might actually be out of the fight, but we'll find out what happens. Go ahead and get rid of that dice before I confuse myself any longer. Okay, let's start from these. So, so we have two twos. A 2 for us counts as a tertiary and a torpedo tube. So we lose a tertiary. We lose a torpedo tube or a tertiary. So we lose those two, just like that. A three for us is a secondary, which in our case would be one of these guys. We'll lose this one right here. A four, we don't have any fours. We have a six and two eights. A six for us is a hull box. Uh-oh. And an eight in this particular case is, sorry, not an eight. No, it was an eight. Two more eights would be um, two more hall boxes. Uh-oh. The Nelson is going to need a morale check now. It needs a... Let's take a look here for the Royal Navy. It needs an eight or better not to quit the fight. Twelve. So it's going to quit the fight, but we forgot to do damage control, so we're going to ignore that. We're going to take that twelve and assume one of those fires kept burning. Okie doke. So now we got to roll for one of the other... F um, yes, now we roll morale. 10, so he's going to punch out as fast as he possibly can. So in this case, the battle is over. The uh, Nelson basically is on a blaze. It is retreating as fast as it can. It is properly on fire. The Bismarck on the flip side, yeah, it lost its rear battery, but it's doing well. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and got kind of a feel for the way the game is played. Uh, some things could probably have been done a little differently there, but it's just superior German gunnery that just did the Nelson in. The Nelson needed some kind of backup to help split his fire a little bit to maybe make this possible, but it just wasn't going to happen. All right, enjoy.